Hi there, this is Simona from Vector Twist. I put together a little tutorial here in Adobe Illustrator CC and I would like to show you how you can create a stitch pattern from scratch. We're going to use a sketch of a reindeer and we're going to create a stitch pattern. This is really fun, so let's get started right away. Here in Adobe Illustrator, I already created a document. But before we get started, let's set up the grid. So open up the preferences and here in Illustrator, go to Guides and Grid and then set the guidelines to 10 every point and the subdivision to 1. Then click OK. Then turn on the grid under View, Show Grid. Now we can see a grid of 10 by 10. I have already created also a small sketch of a reindeer here for us and with this quick outline, this will help us to create the shape that we will fill later with a stitch pattern. We will use the grid to trace this reindeer. We will use the pen tool to trace the reindeer sketch here and the grid will help us to lock everything into place. So let's get started and let's make the pattern. First here in the swatches panel, let's open this up and let's choose a green for the fill. And let's also make sure that we set the stroke to none. After that, we're going to use the rectangle tool. And then when you double click it in the pop-up, set it to 10 points and 2.5 points in height. Then click OK. Then we make a copy of it. And then we go to edit, copy, and then back to edit and paste in front. Now we're going to choose the free transform tool and then rotate it by 90 degrees. Then we select both. And then here in the Pathfinder panel, we're going to choose Unite. Now we want to turn on the Snap to Grid under View. And then when you select the shape with the Selection tool, you can move it around and you will see it snaps it to the grid. But now we want to rotate it by 45 degrees to create a stitch pattern. So in order to do that, Let's untick the snap to grid again and then let's rotate it with the free transform tool and by hitting the shift key on the keyboard by 45 degrees. And then you can see that it's now not fitting into our grid anymore. We have to change the size of it. So we can easily do this if we go to the transform panel and then for the width and height, we're going to set 10 points. You can see that it's now fitting into the grid. But to make it easy, let's go back and turn on snap to grid. Now, no matter where we move it, it will snap it into our 10 by 10 points grid. Now, before we can turn it into a pattern, we need to add a bounding box, the size of our grid. And since we have snap to grid on with the rectangle tool, we can just create a square that fits right behind our stitch here. So we go back to the rectangle tool and then create a square just around our cross here. And we set the fill and the stroke to none. Then we select both. And then we open up the swatches panel and then we just simply drag it into the swatches panel. Now if I double click it, you can see with the pattern tool, we already have a pattern. So let's call it green stitch and then just click the arrow to exit it. Now we have created our first green stitch pattern. Now here if I zoom out, we want to create now our fill for our reindeer. So we're going to use the pen tool and we're going to trace the little sketch here. So first we're going to set the fill to none and then the stroke to black. Then we'll choose the pen tool. And then since we have snap to grid on, we can just simply follow the grid and create the little outline of the reindeer. So first I created a rectangle and now I'm going to just to follow grid by grid the sketch of the reindeer. We're going to have the nose here, then we're going to go along the body here in the front, down to the legs, and since we have the snap to grid on, we can simply just click anywhere along, and it will snap it to the grid and give us straight lines. So now we're going to the back legs here, and here I'm closing the end, we're going up to the back, and then back to the head and to the antler. Once we're on the top, we're just going to go down and then close with the last point here. And then here, another square for the antler. Now I'm going to turn off the sketch. And here we have our little outline of the reindeer. This is what we're going to use and we'll fill it with the pattern that we've just created. There's one part missing here, so I have to add another piece. Then we turn the stroke to the fill. Go back to the swatches panel and then we choose our pattern. And here we've created a fill and filled it with our pattern and it has the shape of a reindeer. 
Now I can see here that I have a part missing of the antler, so if I turn back the sketch, I just have to create one small piece and another one on top. Now I just turn again the fill off, fill it with the pattern, and now we have our reindeer. I can turn off the sketch again, and here we have it. Looks nice, doesn't it? Now of course we want to maybe have another color for our pattern. Back to our swatches, we'll make a duplicate of our pattern, double click it to get the pattern options panel, then we just change the color to red, save a copy, and now we have another one, and we just call it red stitch, and here we go. Now when we duplicate our shape, because it is a fill here, so all we have to do is create a copy, and then fill it with the red stitch, and here we go. Of course we want to make sure that we group everything so we don't forget the antlers. So we go to object group, and then we can create more copies of it. Of course we want to group the other one as well. And here we have it. Another copy. Make a copy one more time. Delete our first little stitch here. And here we have our reindeer stitch pattern. And again, we created a simple stitch, and we created an outline of a reindeer, and then filled it with the stitch. The most important part here is that we create a grid, 10 by 10 for example, and then we can use snap to grid. So when we create an outline of a shape, it will snap it to the grid, and we will create our stitch pattern fitting to the grid as well. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial, and please let me know if you liked it, or if you have any comments. I'll be happy to answer any questions too. Until then, I'm Simona, and this is Vector Twist. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel here.